Hey everyone, welcome to the Active Towns channel. My name is John Simmerman and I am delighted to have you here and take you along for this little ride along ride in Delft in the Netherlands on the morning of November 9th. Uh, gonna be heading out to TU Delft, the university, and exploring one of my favorite intersections there. Uh, then we'll sort of come back here towards the train station and uh, even show you uh, the neighborhood where I was staying. Uh, so let's get right to it. And there's an Obey Feats being returned. One of my other favorite little junctions here. Quite frequently, very busy. All right, looks like we have a field trip with the kids. Notice how all the students, all the children, have their own bikes with them. Being able to ride their bikes to the boat. Go do their field trip wherever that might be maybe it's just a boat ride you never know Heading back to that university intersection that I like so much. Hoping the uh, clouds part and we uh, get some light on the subject. There we go. It's just really quite beautiful when there's some light poking through the trees. Love the colors and love all the action here at this intersection. <laughs> oh no, where's the action? Uh, well, hey, guess what? I have some backup footage of uh, what this intersection is really like uh, from three years prior when we were here in 2019. Um, and I think the date was October 30th. So let's take a look at that footage of this busy intersection here at TU Delft.
the car will creep forward, hopefully trigger the loop. However, the cycling traffic is so extreme, they are gonna end up backing up for quite some time. And off they go. The TU Delft rush hour traffic. And here's a good example of the yielding behaviors of the motorists. All right. So this car was able to trigger the signal so we could proceed. And now we get our green, just like that. And that's how we do it. And again, a nice steady stream. Even somebody commuting by rollerblade. Why not? When the red asphalt cycle paths are laid down, super, super smooth. So yeah, makes it possible to conceivably and feasibly and comfortably commute by skateboard or rollerblade or anything else with a non pneumatic tire um yeah why not talk about efficiency carry a pair of shoes and a backpack a side bag something and then uh, get to your location pop off your rollerblades you're good to go i dig it and uh Looks like they're gonna get their flotation devices right there. And off they go. All right, and here are those kids. They are actually working. They are on duty. They're cleaning up trash. Way to go, kids. Yeah, the kids are uh, out on boats, cleaning up trash. Nice uh, community service. Very cool. What a fun field trip. And you may notice there we had a pretty steady stream of the Ove feet spikes checked out most likely from the central station right up here on the left underneath this bridge
again, hard to overstate the brilliance of having a bike share scheme attached to transit. And uh, right in here, you can uh, check out your Obey feats. And it's your bike for the day. Just return it to the station. As you continue your journey back home or wherever. And you can just see a steady stream of people heading to work, heading to school, heading to their meetings, other obligations, whatever it is they have to do. And we're uh, graced with a beautiful morning. Looks like it rained quite a bit last night. The stones and bricks are wet. It's a little chilly, not too bad. Just enough sun. And you may have noticed uh, three bikes pretty much in a row there with the blue front tires. Those are swap feats. Here's another one right here preceding the uh, Obey Feats. That Swap Feats is a subscription service. So that's his bike. Pays a monthly service for that rental. And if something, anything happens to the bike, needs a repair, the OVV or the Swap Feats crew will show up, service the bike if necessary, swap the bike out, and it's all good. Yeah, yeah. Just kind of pop over this rainbow bridge. Swing around. And again, all ages and abilities. Mobility is able to be extended, and uh, life and vitality can keep happening. Brings up such a good point that uh, if you need to access utility lines underneath the sidewalk, it's not like jackhammering out a concrete or blacktop side path or sidewalk. You can simply lift up the stones, brush the side aside, the brush the sand aside, and service the pipes. Hey, thank you so much for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this ride-along video. And if you did, please remember to uh, give it a like, <laughs> share it with a friend, and leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, I'd be honored to have you do so. Just click on that subscription button down below and ring the notifications bell. Thank you all so much. Okay, rolling on to my re newly redesigned street. You can see the feet strut is pretty much done. And again, sending a huge thank you out to all my Active Towns ambassadors supporting the channel on Patreon, Buy Me A Coffee, YouTube Super Thanks, as well as making contributions to the nonprofit and purchasing things from the Active Towns store. Every little bit adds up and it's much appreciated. Thank you all so much.